Hi everybody, I'm gonna be sharing my Black Friday haul with you guys. Uh, this is from Chic Sparrow. I did order from a couple of different places, but uh, mostly those things are, are gonna be gifts and I don't wanna spoil any surprises, so I didn't wanna show them on here. Um, but what I have here, mostly these things are, are what I'm gonna use for myself. But I took the opportunity to shop that Black Friday sale because of the really tremendous discount that it offered and I wanted to fill in the gaps of my collection. And if you don't already know, I do love to keep a bigger collection of leather goods, you know, traveler's notebooks and folios and that kind of thing. I know there's a lot of people that prefer to have a really small, really curated collection, and I think that's fantastic. I'm just not in that camp. I just love having lots of choices and getting the chance to enjoy multiple leathers and sizes and things, so I don't find it overwhelming just for myself. So I only had one other waypoint up until now, and that was this uh, standard size or narrow size traveler's notebook in the deluxe and I've recently stopped using traveler's notebooks in this size um, I moved into folio so I haven't been able to enjoy this so I was so glad to finally get a hold of some waypoints and sizes that I do actively use right now and uh, this isn't for forever you know i i tend to be really fickle with my journaling choices and my cover choices so i you know am definitely keeping this around because i know down the road i'm gonna end up wanting to go back into a tn for for this kind of thing again but i, I haven't been able to enjoy you know the one and only one that i've had so i've got a nice little spread here uh, I showed these two on Instagram because these are my everyday carries right now. So this is a Nano and this is a weekly calendar cover. And can we just take a second to appreciate the variations in texture in all of these guys? Like Waypoint is so incredible. I did not put in any order notes. So I feel like the person who picked these out had the most fun time choosing these because <laughs> they made sure they were all different. And I so appreciate that. I, for, for the Waypoint Leather, I really love any and all kind of variation that it comes in. So that's why I didn't want to put in any order notes, but I'm not that way with Maverick. I am like quite a Maverick snob when it comes to textures and patterns in that leather. But for this, I love everything and I got everything. So that made me so, so happy. So for the Nano, which is just like the cutest little thing ever, it has the chunkiest pebbles on it and the texture on this is just divine. I am so, so loving this. And I also noticed that Chic Sparrow is now um, like burning in their Maker's Mark, which I really, really like that. I think that's such a, a cleaner look than uh, when it was previously stamped. Cause you can see that this is the only other Nano I got. It was from the second chance sale. Um, but the mark is kind of being pushed out as I'm stretching the leather and stuff, but, uh, you know, that will stay there forever. So that, that's really cool. I really like, uh, that change that they're making, but I love this little thing. He looks so good, all filled out. And when I got this one, this is the Mockingbird in the Nightingale color. I really really loved how thin and pliable and lightweight this was for such a small traveler's notebook i thought it worked really really well and especially since i use it as a wallet and love to stuff it and so what i well what i was finding was that this color um it's my favorite of the mockingbird collection but i found that as an everyday carry being handled every day and being tossed in my bag this was getting really really dirty and grimy um the edges were, were kind of turning like brownish yellowish just from you know being exposed to everything outside of the house um and then of course the white elastics didn't do it any favors either so i thought since waypoint well i mean it's my favorite so i was probably gonna get one anyway but i really um thought it was a good idea because 
the leather is similarly thin as the Mockingbird and very pliable and I thought it would work so well as a Nano and it absolutely does. I so so enjoy this and because it's this you know deep rich gorgeous brown color um, it doesn't matter if it gets dirty being tossed around in my bag and things so love 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 this guy. The next size I got is a passport. This is the first passport I've ever gotten. When I was talking about my wallets, I was previously in a pocket size and then I downsized to a nano to try it out. And everybody was like, why don't, why don't you try a passport? And I was like, I don't know why. So I finally got one and it's just like nicely sized between a pocket size and a nano. And I got, I also ordered a wallet insert to go in here, but I haven't received it yet. But when I do, I will definitely move into it and test this guy out. I mean, if these two sizes work, I know this one is going to as well. Um, and also my husband is playing around with some of these sizes for his wallet. So I did get this so that he could try them out as well. Uh, but for the Black Friday sale, Chic Sparrow actually had a bunch of different leathers offered in the passport size because they usually don't carry this size as like a regular listing and they all I believe came with this pocket configuration with the secretarial pockets on the inside so I'm excited to use this one and this is a much drier feeling one which makes sense because all of these are pretty saturated and this one feels a bit drier and it's got that lighter color and this one actually most closely matches the narrow size that I have. So it's like they were cut from the same hide almost, you know, they, the texture is very similar, generally smooth, not much pebbling at all. Um, but I love the way this one wears over time. It just looks so lived in and rustic. And like I said, I just enjoy like all of the different textures and colors that the Waypoint can come in. Also, Amy Graham, we are passport twins. This is so cute. So that guy and then this pocket, which looks insane. I could not believe this. I've never seen a Waypoint look look like this uh this is a texture i haven't seen before it is it's got these marks on the back that almost look like somebody took a pen and just like was stabbing at it but they are actually really deep ingrained scars and i i feel like most of this is scarring there are striations and like some wrinkling and things in here but I love the way this looks. It is so incredibly unique and it is the most saturated feeling waypoint I have. Out of all of these, even though the coloring is pretty similar to um, uh, the Nano and the weekly calendar cover, this one just feels so much more like oily than these two. And oops, I, I want to move into this so badly, but my husband is currently using some inserts uh, that I keep uh, in my pocket size. And, and also I'm enjoying this one right now for, for my wallet. So I don't want to use this quite yet, but I'm just so glad to have this. It is the most gorgeous thing. Um, and, and it is deluxe. And I just put random notebooks in here because I like to see how things look all filled out. So yeah, isn't this thing just such a beauty? It looks so unique. I just really, really adore it. And so then the weekly calendar cover. So I, I don't know if I said this before, but I showed both, both of these on Instagram because once I received these, I moved into them right away. Um, I use this with my Hobonichi Weeks inside and it's just my everyday planner. And this one, it's got this beautiful dark rich color as well, but it's got this really fine pebbling on it. And I think it's so, so pretty. And I have been wanting the Waypoint in the weekly calendar cover for the longest time. I have wanted this one the most and I finally, finally got it and it's, really, really awesome and really makes this a, a thinner profile. And it's just really neat comparing 
the texture on these two and how different um, the sizes of the pebbling is. It's just really, really incredible how different the waypoint leather can be. And I just, I just really, really love it all. So really happy to finally, you know, be actively using some waypoints again. The only other things that I got were Mavericks because waypoints and Mavericks just are my favorite. And I feel like if I can get the pair of those in the sizes that I use, that's all I really want. You know, I'm not, after all of this time, I've just come to find that that's my preference and I don't, I'm not really looking at any other leathers or colors um, that Chic Sparrow offers because, um, you know, I've just kind of found my happy place um, as far as the leather offerings go. So I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I keep talking about how Nano works so well with thinner, more pliable leathers because it's, you know, such a small traveler's notebook. But when I was getting this, I was like, well, well, do I need this in, in a Maverick, you know, like, because that's my ultimate pair, right? If I have a waypoint and a Maverick, then like I'm set for life. Um, and I was like, yes, I absolutely do. So I got a Maverick Nano and it is just the cutest thing and it has the nicest markings on it. I absolutely love this. Um, for Mavericks, when I do texture requests, I really, really love having really bright cracks and darker smooth areas. I just love the contrast of that and I think it just looks so dynamic. And the other type of Maverick texture that I prefer is when it has cracks that are really, really deep and so deep that it kind of puffs out the leather around it and makes it much more pliable. Pretty much like the back of this thing. I cannot believe what a score this is for a Nano because I thought for sure it wasn't gonna be anything like super duper great because this is such a tiny piece of leather that it would be so hard to, to get tons of variation out of it you know what I mean so I cannot believe that this has that super deep puffy kind of cracking on the back and the spine and then this beautiful color variation on the front like I adore this little thing it's just the cutest little guy and on the inside it's funny because uh this is an example of the texture that I don't like so like right here the, it has really, really fine cracking. Um, it's pretty surface level, you know, not very deep at all. And then over here, I, I kind of like this pattern, but the color of the cracks like almost matches the smoother areas. So it all just kind of blends in. I just like much more contrast than that. So when I flip it over, you can see, see how different that is and how much more dynamic that looks like. Oh, there's just no comparison. I just completely adore this one that they picked out for me. And it is just the best. And I did move my inserts in here just to try out how they would fit in here with, you know, a much thicker leather like this. And it actually was not bad at all. It is more hefty and it's definitely not for everybody. But I enjoy having both of them and... I, my husband may actually end up using this. Um, I hope it doesn't work out for him because I would love to be able to switch back and forth between these. But yeah, so I'm just really, really thrilled with this. And I thought this was going to be the only Maverick that I was going to get. And then I was thinking about um, my memory keeper. I'm currently using a Midori MD notebook for that. And I, I've showed that a couple of times, I think. And it's just getting out of hand. I just had it in a Maker South folio, but it doesn't have an elastic closure on it or anything. And that, my notebook was just getting so, so full. It was just kind of exploding open. And I started to not like the way it looked in that folio. So 
I actually moved back into standard size for memory keeping for like a couple of weeks and uh, you know, and I, I just haven't found like a completely happy place with my memory keeping yet. And then I thought, well, because of the really great discount, I don't want to just like wait a month and then decide, oh, well, maybe I should get an A6 size and, and try that out because if I wanted to try anything in the next, you know, in the near future, I told myself I just needed to get it now while there was a really great discount. And then I thought I could just always rehome it and, you know, like sell it if I don't like it. Like that's always an option. So I thought that I might as well take advantage. And I was going to get a classic size for the first time. And here it is. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to go with classic um, because Maverick is such a sturdy, thick leather that... I really thought it could handle uh, being a classic and I just added the stitching to this. But holy crow, look at this insane texture. I cannot hardly deal with this guy. It is so magnificent and it's just everything that I love about a Maverick. It is so uh, dynamic. The cracks are so bright. There's lots of darker areas. You know, there's not like super fine clusters of cracks. And I adore this thing. And what I did was I put my Midori MD notebook in here. You can see how much it's exploding. And I just threaded the two middle strings um, through the plastic cover of this. And I just adjusted it so that the knot was on the rightmost elastic so it would just kind of stay out of the way. And I pretty much took a page from Robin's book, um, Art Journal Girl. She usually keeps a B6 Slim classic notebook and has a mega insert in there and that's it. And you know, this is a mega insert if I've ever seen one. So I adore how this fits in here and how everything just came together this a6 size traveler's notebook was literally just a second thought you know it was just a last minute throw in the cart kind of thing um that i hadn't thought about like too too much and it's probably the the thing that i am the happiest with out of all of these uh, black friday purchases I am so, so pleased with this. And so I abandoned the standard size, of course, and I am back into this, filling it out once again. Um, I love having the closure elastic with this thick of an insert um, because it just keeps everything together. And it's just the cutest, chunkiest little thing, you know, just filled with my life. <laughs> and I just cannot get over this thing. I think it is so, so, so gorgeous. And I just really lucked out with the Mavericks that I got in the sale. And I'm I'm so happy. I know that Chic Sparrow was pretty backed up and pretty overwhelmed with the amount of orders that they got. And yet they still managed to deliver like these beauties to me. And I'm just so, so grateful. I'm so happy with everything I got. Everything is just so full of texture and just so, so amazing. And that is everything that I got kind of for myself. My husband's probably going to dip into some of these, um, which is totally fine with me. Anyway, that is everything for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the different possible check textures you could get in these leathers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye!